And we are back with more slime and a rather somber uh, start to an episode because, well, Rimuru has now gained a human form. And how he gained that form, well, let's just say, remember his skills. And so Rimuru now is, well, alongside building up his goblin village, maybe got himself a little bit of um, questing going on to carry out the wishes of a summon from his original homeland. Let's see if he gets anywhere with that. You see, there has been a com conversation before about uh, opening credits and whatnot. Do they give out spoilers? Well, evidently, yes, but is it wise or not to watch them because of said uh, information leaks I think it was Overlord that I uh, purposely didn't pay too close of attention to it And, oh, that was in the end of the last episode, wasn't it? The, um, the creature in the desert being given a new lease of life by the means of some meat. It, he has been rather lucky in the fact of who he's met so far. Oh, who do I need? I need some um, architects and craftsmen. Oh, they're now living with us. I wonder how many people can... Um, Raised to the ranks of, you know, controlling an entire village and not go, like, at least slightly power crazy about it. I almost thought they was being carried around. Like some of those elegant kings and whatnot. Ha 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 ha. So you don't want to mimic some cloves along with that. So with his mimic he doesn't need to use magic sense or 100% of his perception then. So he's actually limiting his power by having this body. Interesting. Nice. So other than uh, body double, what else is there? And how many body doubles can you create? Uh, androgynous. Oh, so it's like looking in a mirror, so it's it's fine because it's you. Yeah, you should be able to check without checking as well. <laughs> so he's like a Ken doll. Smooth. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Well, he. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Does that mean he can change his actual body to resemble that? If you're able to mould yourself this easily... Was that almost dangerous? Ah, I see. Good thing that he's got a sense of honour and all that. But you're not a slime at the minute. You... If your sense of, like, perception is weakened now in the human form because you're using eyes and ears and whatnot, yeah, you can probably eat. And also, why didn't he ever think of that before when he was in the forms of, like, the wolves or the snakes? <laughs> ah, we've well, got the staple of many uh, a fantasy-type isekai trying to find rice. They probably see it as a great honour that he's going to be at the same table. Where are you staring, Gobter? Exactly why I thought! <laughs> Wasn't he already disciplined with a sharp kick roundhouse to the chest? <laughs> crawling back. Any reason why they've been coming here from... Okay. Hopefully it is just a migration. So, taking a bit of extra precaution now, just in case something has happened. We can't keep up to that. That cool exterior when he's waiting for praise. What's it do? Nice. So it's not done um, automatically in this world then. Having a place to kind of test out your skills and explore is pretty good. Especially since he's cleaned out this cave already. Hmm. Useful. But should he ever lose it? Emergency. So he was right. There's something going on in the in the forest. Poor Gobster. 
It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> How does... We... Is Rimuru going to run out of that potion at any time soon? Can he create it just in his body, or is it due to the materials that he absorbed in the cave? Rather diverse party of enemies so far. Swordmasters, hammer gut, bros, magic. A morning star. So they managed to not only keep up with goblins that have re uh, received Rimuru's names, but beat them. Mm. They could be quite strong. Bogus. Just, well, there are many different variations on what ogres, goblins, um, anything really. Different games have different ways of designing them, so. Are they open to discussion? Hmm. That's good. So they weren't after just blood. Evil imagine. Ha. Huh. So they think that the goblins and the wolves are under what subjugation by Rimuru. <laughs> Poor slime. So why what what did um Shizu get involved in beforehand or if it is even involved uh, related that's the word I was thinking. the magic user It's good that he can keep a calm head and actually think about, you know, even after being attacked and having his, having his uh, disciples, I guess, put to sleep and beaten, he's still willing to try to have the diplomatic reasoning. Does Rimuru have uh, any sword skills? Well, that works. Pooh! I mean, maybe you should be more focused on what you what you're sensing. I was waiting for a good old fight sequence like this. It's one thing seeing him as a slime do magic, but...
he knows all the previous skills of what he's done. What to be? What else can be expected from a like a wise old man type? Hmm. Yeah, but you've probably got a lot more up your sleeve than that, so. One of who? So the orc, that, I'm guessing it was an orc that we saw in the desert. Was led to attack the ogres. Good thing he's uh, well. I think he's got pain nullification. If he gets his uh, head removed, would that really do anything? Well, as a slime, can he separate his body anyway? So it doesn't feel like it's gone done too much damage. That might put a dent in their plans if you if they can see you just heal immediately. Yeah, he's faced much hotter fire than this. Impressive, but... Is, do his fl uh, clothes have fire resistance? Yes. This is the face of your opponent. And it's no longer hiding his aura. Going from zero to... I guess... I wonder how much he's actually trying to show off. I do love the depth of some of these uh, sound effects. This is pure magic and... Hmm. Through by his own volition. Is he still restraining it though? While holding a giant ball of flame, using his lightning to explode a boulder. Hmm. Not trying to show off at all, are you? He doesn't want to fight, does he, Rimuru? This does seem like a completely unnecessary battle, but of course, if you've just been attacked, you're going to be curious, uh, cautious of anyone. And how many did you lose if you said you're you were attacked? They're a pride bunch, proud bunch. She's defending him. I mean, technically, yes, he could. It 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 does make sense. Trying to what? 
reserve some of his power, not show off too much. But the fact that he hasn't just immediately just wiped you all out, considering the vast power difference, should go towards understanding that he's not wanting a fight. Just a slime. Word for word. Well, almost word for word. If these Majin had masks similar to that, who creates them? How uh, repentant is he going to be over attacking them? Well, do you have anywhere else to go? Eh, not really. <laughs> it's going to end up with PTSD. Did you actually manage to get any food, though, in the excursion into the forest? That answers that question. They're that strong and they don't have names. Wow. Yes, Rimuru, I can see where this is going. You've found some new underlings. quite useful when they've got this new disaster on the horizon the evil Majin who have taken on a horde of orcs and attacked and destroyed a village of ogres you're not going to give the ogres a substantial power increase It must be incredibly um, I don't can't even think of anything that's strong enough of a uh, of a descriptor more than heartbreaking and devastating to see your village and everyone you knew just erased. I'm kind of glad that quite a lot of the world doesn't live in the those kind of times so you have to worry about things like that. Of course, it's not universal. Jikai. But the fact that there's uh, another guy out there with a mask on who's a magic user, while not trying to conceal his presence, just mainly his identity, maybe? Why and for what reason other than just destruction? Maybe the ogre village was in the way of a new intercity highway or something, so it had to be demolished. The planning permissions had been put in. One thing I'll say about Rinkai is a slime is that Rimuru himself doesn't really see, have any goals. Like, there's nothing really pushing him forward, is there? Is that going to change now? He's got this he's got this kind of forced care for the goblin village now and 
the the dwarves that are in his party and now probably going to help out the ogres. But it's not like there's some grand overarching um, quest that Rimuru had to go on for whatever reason. So he's much more of a reactive protagonist than uh, some of the others in other series that I've watched. But with the introduction of the ogres, I'm more than willing to see where this goes in the future. So hopefully you're going to be there with me. If you enjoyed the episode, please let me know, liking the video and commenting down below. Great ways to make your words and stories heard. Now I know you probably hear it quite often if you watch YouTube, at least in any kind of capacity. But about 68, I think it was actually 68 when last, I, last time I checked, percent of everyone out there watching isn't subscribed to the channel. So you can help me out dramatically if you change that. But all in all... Keep yourself healthy, especially in recent times. So get some rest, and I'll see you on the next one. I really do want to thank each and every one of you for watching the channel. But of course my Patreons are a step above, especially Flora Taku, Sal, and Raywin. If you wish to join them, use the links in the description, or wherever you find it. But ultimately, I hope you enjoy yourself, and once again, thank you.